guys so I'm here to give you my summer hair routine now I've given you my winter hair routine and now that I'm in a different climate and a different atmosphere and I'm living in the south I decided that I should share with you what I do with my hair especially because I'm trying to adapt and my hair is trying to adapt to this weather down here with the humidity and the constant heat so I've actually figured out what products work for my transitioning hair and I decided to just record my routine that I do um, on my wash days my full full wash days um, and just share with you guys what I do um, just a note before I go into my routine this video is not sponsored by any of the products listed and I purchased them all with my own money and um, let's get right down to it First things first, I am about 49 weeks into my transition to natural hair and I was going to wait um, to do my big chop around my two year mark but right now I'm really itching to do my big chop so I'm planning on big chopping for my one year anniversary which I will record and um, I have to learn how to deal with my new natural texture so that's going to be a challenge for me but I'm very excited and I'm willing to accept that challenge. So in this video, you're definitely going to see the two different textures. You're going to see the relaxed, damaged hair um, in this video uh, versus the new growth that I've received, which is about six to seven inches that I've gotten of my new growth. Um, so the routine seems a little intense, but um, this is what works with me. It's just your basic wash, deep condition, and condition, and your basic moisturizing. That's all I'm doing. And I do use different products, but in this in this time, I'm now experimenting to see what products work for me. So there's going to be some pros and cons of the products that I tried. So first things first, what I do on um, with this routine, um, usually I wash my hair every week, but every three weeks I take my braids out and I do this routine. So the first things first is when I take my braids out, I make sure I detangle as much as possible and make sure I get all the shed hair out. So as you can see from this clip, I just take out my braids that I had for, um, for my wigs and then I go ahead and detangle into four sections. So I section my hair up in four sections because that's how I'm preparing to wash my hair. I always wash my hair in four sections. It's just very easy for me to get into my scalp and make sure that every section is thoroughly clean rather than just washing my hair as a whole. It's just always, since I've always stretched, that's always been my routine. Um, I didn't really record me washing my hair in the shower because I just don't see the benefit of you guys seeing me stand in the shower wet washing my hair when everyone knows what it looks like to wash your hair. Um, but I will tell you what products I use. I um, definitely started using the Organic Root Stimulator um, Moisturizing Shampoo. And the only reason why I started using that is because the, my staple shampoo is in storage. So I had to go out to um, Walmart and pick up some supplies for my hair. So I actually like their olive oil moisturizing lotion. So I decided to try the shampoo, which I actually really, really, really like. Only thing is that I know that it has sulfates in it. So, uh, and then... Um, at Walgreens, about a couple of weeks ago, they had a buy one, get one free um, with Shea Moisture. So I decided to try the Shea Moisture Smooth and Repair Nourish and Hair Mask. And the reason why I picked up this particular one is because I've noticed that um, I probably got heat damage a while back when I flat ironed my hair. Um, so when I put my hair in a ponytail, it doesn't really slick down. I get some frizz hairs that stick up. It might just be that's how my natural hair is. Again, this is my first time going completely natural, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my hair. So I decided to pick this up, and I picked this one up because it said it's for wavy, curly, and frizzy hair, and it was supposed to be a smooth and repair, so I knew I wanted my hair in a nice, sleek ponytail, so I decided to try this out. This is my second time trying it. Um, the container is literally almost empty. And the verdict on this is I really I really didn't like it as much because it didn't make my hair feel moisturized. If I was to use this again, I probably would follow up with some oil, like extra virgin olive oil with it. But it didn't give me a good slip. It just made my hair feel very, very hard. But I left this on my hair um, after um, rinsing out the conditioner, rinsing out the shampoo and adding this to my hair. I then put a shower cap on my head. And then followed up with my Turbo Twist, which I picked up from Walmart as well. 
and I left it on my hair for about an hour. The direction says that if you're going to leave it on with heat to leave it on for 30 minutes but I left it on a little bit longer I think maybe close to two hours because I was just using my natural heat for my head to deep condition the hair. And then when I was done with that, then I followed up with my trusty Aussie Moist Conditioner, which I always swear by. You guys always hear me talk about my Aussie Moist. I love that conditioner so much. Um, so I followed up with my Aussie Moist Conditioner. Now, um, when I was done with that, I really don't leave that conditioner in for like a set amount of time. I just, each section I rinse and then um, I put the conditioner in and I do that with the other three sections until... My head is completely absorbed with Aussie Moist and then I rinse section by section. Now, when I'm done with that, I use my Turbo Twist to help absorb all the extra excess water in my hair and then I go into the lock method. And if you guys don't know what the lock method is, it's you apply a leave-in oil or cream. And um, the leave-in I think is supposed to be water-based um, oil and then cream. I'm really new to the lock method, so hopefully I'm saying that correctly. But I'm still trying to figure out what's the leave-in and what's the cream and what order. I know you could switch it up. You can do cream, oil, leave-in. It's really confusing, but I decided to just give it a try. Not sure if I did it correctly. The first thing I did was apply the Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil Moisturizer in my hair. And um, I like to just rub it in my hands and just go into each section and just push it through and massage it into my hair. And then after that, I will follow up with my unrefined coconut oil, which I purchased from Amazon. And um, I will try to put it in my scalp and massage it in my scalp and then run it through my hands again. And this time I decided to try something different with the cream portion. I don't know if it's a leave-in or it's a cream. I always get confused with it. Um, but I use the Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. Milk. I decided to use that for the first time and actually... I don't know, the verdict is still out on that too, but I'm, I don't know. So um, I tried that for the first time and I can't really say if I liked it or not, but it did feel really good in my hair. So um, I did that in each section and then made sure I detangled using my um, big tooth comb first and then my double sided comb to detangle it enough so I can pull all of my hair into a ponytail. And I continue to do that in each section now this whole process did take the whole day basically so you're going to see like the lighting change i had to eventually put my ring light on so um that you guys can see what i'm doing so after i finished detangling and using the lock method on each portion of my hair then it comes down to the hardest part and the most tedious and the most long part of my whole like wash routine is pulling my hair into a ponytail Oh man, when I first decided to do that, it took me about 40 minutes to do. But um, I'm now getting into a way of doing it. And what I do is I detangle and comb just the back portion of my hair first and pull it into a ponytail. And then I take the two sections in the front and then I um, comb that into a ponytail. And um, I noticed that it's like frizzy. So you can see in the video that it's like really, really frizzy. So what I use to help with the frizzies and make it slick down like the way it looks right now, right here, is I use my As I Am Smoothing Gel. I stumbled upon this by mistake when I was going into Walmart because it just seemed as soon as I moved down here, my Eco Style Gel was not working for me. Like it would leave my hair hard. It will leave my hair dry. It will look white. It just did not work for me. And I was trying to figure out what to use. And I saw a smoothing gel. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to smooth it down. And I wanted to give it a great hold. So I decided to pick this up. And I am in love with this product. And I definitely will buy it again. Like this product is amazing on my hair. So um, use this. But I used it with my fingers. So I will put it a nice little dollop in my hands and smooth it and then just smooth it down in each section until I feel like it's flat enough and I don't see the frizzies. If I still see the frizzies, I will put more gel in it. Um, my hair doesn't feel really dry at all. Like, I love it. Um, I started to put, um, as my edge control to keep my edges down, I started to put the Design Essentials edge control on my head, on my, like, my hairline, but I don't really like the way it feels when I mold it, because I'm going to put a scarf on top of it, I really didn't like the way it feels. So I switched up with the Arrogant Oil from Cream of Nature, Perfect Edges. And I actually like the way this works on my edges when I'm molding my hair into a ponytail. 
I wouldn't use this if I had to touch up um, on my edges like let's say my edges sweated out and I wanted to slick it down again I will not use this I would definitely use my design essentials edge control but this I love when I'm smoothing it down so this worked and then when I was done I had to use my toothbrush to try to put some baby hairs but that didn't work so I was like whatever and then I just used my scarf to put on my head and um, I actually I went to sleep and I woke up and throw on the same shirt and that's just how I got like this nice smooth look and I it does my hair does not feel hard at all it feels really good and I like the fact that my my curls or my waves actually pop up I don't really know if you guys can see it but my curls and my waves can pop up if I was to stick my finger in the middle of my head I can definitely feel like my curl pattern which is so fun to play with um, but I'm loving it so far now if you wanted to do this routine and you wanted to add some hair I would use like my clip-ins like my better length clip-ins or my kinky curly yak clip-ins it depends on the mood on the thickness I want my hair to be because the better length are thicker than the kinky curly so I would probably use the better length if I want a bigger bun but if I want a more sleeker bun I would use my kinky curly yakky clip-ins and just wrap it around my ponytail but I decided I mean I'm home no one's gonna see me so I just left my itty bitty ponytail right here which I probably won't have in the next few weeks when I cut it off so that's basically my routine for my summertime um, but one thing I definitely would advise for you guys is to get sunscreen for your hair. That is super important for you to do, especially if you're going to be outside for long periods of time. Whether you're going to the park, you're going to the pool, or you're going to the beach. Um, anywhere you're going for a long period of time, or maybe like in Florida, I'm not sure if it's like in other states, but a lot of the malls in Florida are outdoor malls. So even if you're going shopping, if you're going to be out for a long period of time, I definitely would advise for you guys to put sunscreen on your hair. Um, to protect your hair from those elements and the perfect one that I use and I think is very inexpensive is the pink oil moisturizer sunscreen it's a uh, sheen spray and it has sunscreen in it so I definitely would advise for you guys to put this onto your head when you are getting ready to leave the house so hopefully you guys enjoyed my summer hair routine and if you have any questions about it please let me know and um, stay tuned for the next few weeks when I do my big chop and then I actually go into my fully natural hair routine. Hopefully I find a routine that works for me. Um, if you have, again, if you have any questions, you can always leave them below and I'll talk to you guys later.